Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is going to be another Poundland haul. We were in much need of some snacks and some toiletry bits, so that is what I went and bought today. So I'm just going to share with you what I got. If you're new, however, my name is Ash. I am a mum of two. I've got Ella who is almost three and Charlie who is one. So if you're not subscribed then I'd love to have you around as a viewer, just click that button and the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a video and it means you won't miss one. So unfortunately I walked into Poundland on an empty stomach and I was starving which doesn't ever end well because the snack section of this haul is going to be sizable so I think I'll go through that first and a lot of it's junk food because it's a Sunday here and we just feel that we want to have a nice little cosy family day and have a few bits of chocolate and some bits and pieces so that is kind of what I got. First things first, I've never seen these before and they got me pretty excited when I did. So it is the Kit Kat Finger Bites and these are the white chocolate ones. If you've ever had a white chocolate Kit Kat, you will know they are so good. So I had to pick up these along with some Magic Stars as well as another kind of share bag for when we have a movie day. Also picked up some party rings. The kids absolutely love these so I tend to break them up for Charlie so they're not like a whole party ring and Ella loves them as well. They're also really handy to have in the changing bag and they are a proper treat for them so yeah they really enjoy them. Yeah? Someone here party rings then you come in do you want to help me? Right so. Wee. Next up we've got some Nest Pick bars. Now we got these on holiday and they were a bit of a hit, weren't they? You liked them, didn't you? So we have some more for at home. So Nest Pick bars, there are how many in a pack? How many, how many? Six in a pack. It does have a bunny on there. It does have a bunny on there. What do you think of that bunny? <laughs> and then for Mr. Charlie, we have been buying these since Ella was a baby, and it is the Annabelle Carmel. Oh, wait, I don't know. Hold on. I'm pretty sure these used to be Annabelle Carmel Disney biscuits, but it doesn't have any of the Annabelle Carmel brands on it anymore, which is confusing. Anyway, it's the same thing anyway. It's just these little biscuits, which Charlie absolutely loves. Ella used to love them too. And these ones are the strawberry and vanilla flavour. Yeah! <laughs> Another kind of kiddie snack are these Sunny Raisin Yogurt Covered Raisins. Yeah! They'll be good, won't they? These are five in a pack. Again, really handy to have in the changing bag for when you're out and about trying to get coffee. And all you hear is, Mum, can I have a snack? Can I have a snack? Can I have a snack? <laughs> Who says that all the time? Me! <laughs> so these are for Ella and for Charlie now because I kind of get to the point where the two of them are having the same kind of snacks. As Charlie gets bigger and the age gap gets closer between them, it's actually getting easier now to go out and buy stuff. So yeah, they're having like the same dinners and they're having the same kind of snacks. Now I must admit, a lot of these snacks aren't very healthy snacks. They're not like, they're not too bad, but they're not like crazy on the health front. And neither are these either, but these are just the kind of like basics we have in. We do have other better things for the kids when we do a big food shop. But when I do go into Poundland, these are the kind of things I tend to pick up. And I also love these. These are the little chocolate chip brioches and you love these, don't you? Yeah! Ella likes a brioche just on its own, so to have little chocolate chips through it is a real treat. Five seconds in the microwave as well, by the way, is a good tip. They're so good when they're warm. So I got a pack of these and they were pounds and those are my razors. Yeah. <laughs> and kiddos love these, don't you? Yeah, Barney Bears. Barney Bear bars. I normally get these in Asda, but they had them in pound plans, so I got a pack of these, and obviously they were a pound. I think I these are actually about one fifty in Asda, so there's a good saving for you. I these are the chocolate ones. What other ones do you like? You like the milk ones, and also the strawberry ones. That's right. Ella wasn't supposed to see these because these are my favourite sweets ever. These sticks, so I used to get these from the ice cream fan when I was younger, and that's exactly what it reminds me of. So I picked up a pack of these, which you were not supposed to see. You weren't supposed to see them. No, it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Yeah, that's right. There's loads in the pack, isn't there? Someone's already been into these ones. I wonder who it was. Hmm. Me. <laughs> we got these little mini Oreo snack packs. These are fabs. It's a box of six packs. So yeah, Ella just had a pack of them there. They went down pretty quickly, didn't they? Yeah. Did you eat them pretty fast? Yeah. <laughs> Were they nice? Yeah. They actually love the little yeah, guys. So and I opened them. You opened them through you did. So yeah, quite a nice wee size, a good box, but as soon as these are home, I just decant them because these big boxes take up so much room when the packets inside are tiny. Oh, those ones, let me see. What are those ones? These are your multivitamins. I picked these up for Ella. These are the Bassets, three to six years multivitamins, and they're for little eyes, bones, and skin. They're strawberry flavour. 
these are your Bassett multivitamins. Do you want one right now? Yeah. Right, so you take one of these every day. I only got the little week supply of them, but let's just have a go. Try that. And that's like medicine that's got all your vitamins in it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think these in home bargains and admittedly it was a bigger packet but I think it was about $3.99 or $5.99 something tells me but I'm pretty sure there was a lot more in it than 7 so yeah it'd be worth actually seeing how you're so smacky <laughs> it'd be worth seeing the difference in price if these are better buy or if the multi pack are right shall we get into some of this stuff over here that you want to look at I picked up a little roll on deodorant. This is just like a preference for me now. I normally use spray deodorant, but recently I've been using a roll on and I actually much prefer it. So I've got this, especially for going away. I'm going to London next week. So this is a 50 mil, which means I can take it on my carry on luggage. So this is the Nivea Anti Perspirant Peril and Beauty 48 hour protection, little number, and that was only a pound. Oh, actually, I totally forgot about this. This is completely random, but. When I say this, I must have been having some kind of like childhood reminisce while I was in Poundland because I got the big long straw things and then I also got these, which is Bars Cream Soda. I randomly picked up four of these, had one when I was out there and it was so good. So sugary, I don't even want to look at the sugar content because it's probably ridiculous. But yeah, Bars Cream Soda. Childhood memories. I also picked up a pack of the Wilkinson Sword Essential 2 Purple Razors. There are five in this pack and I've used these ones before. They're not as good as the Venus ones that they were doing for a while but that secret has got out and now everyone knows that Poundland sells Venus razors. So we can't be having that. Everyone taking the good razors but these ones are just as good. Well, not really just as good. They're a good substitute anyway. I've also seen this, which I initially thought was deodorant put in the wrong place, but this is the two-in-one shower and shave mousse, and it is saying on the bottom it's 40 uses per can, soft and gentle, and yeah, it's basically just shaving foam, but you can actually use it to wash as well, which is a really good idea. Again, because I'm going to London next week, I don't think I'll be able to take all of my usual skincare with me, so I've just got this little pack of face wipes. Ah, dare I say it? Dare I say the face wipe, that is honestly, that's like the, the banned word in the beauty world, doesn't it? Face wipes, but I do have them because for a couple of days I might need to just go and use a face wipe for quickness and convenience. And for these are me. Not for you, Charlie, these are for mummy's face. They're like baby wipes, don't they? But yeah, these are the three in one gentle wipes. These ones are for dry skin and they have almond oil in them, so they should be quite good. I also picked up this Johnson Sensitive Touch Shampoo for Charlie. The poor little soul, he has quite sensitive skin, so I'm trying a lot of different products to see how he gets on with them. So I'm going to try this one tonight and I'll let you guys know over on Insta Stories how I get on with this. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, this is my handle here. Make sure you go over there and give me a little follow. And yeah, so this is the Johnson Sensitive Touch Baby Shampoo. I've not used this one before, so we'll have a little try, as I say, and see how we go on with it. But I just love the packaging of this. There's something really appealing about this little shape of bottle. Dun, dun, dun. What's Ella Reed got? <laughs> is that frozen shampoo? Yeah. These are the frozen shampoo and conditioners. <laughs> Ella is proudly parading hers. So yeah, this is really good. They have this squeezy bit in the top. But the reason why I actually buy these is because Ella has... A really annoying habit of emptying all of my shampoo in the shower, don't you? You pour it everywhere, don't you? So at least if you're only using your own, then we don't mind so much if you happen to also wash the floor and your toys and Charlie and the shower and yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this has got Elsa and Anna on the front for the shampoo and conditioners and they were just a pound each as well. I know it seems completely like obvious to say that things are a pound when they're from Poundland but not so much anymore because some of the things are actually like two pounds, three pounds, five pounds so I do feel like sometimes, especially when it's branded stuff like that, it is worthwhile actually saying that it was a pound. I also picked this up because I was intrigued. It is a foot pack from a company or brand called Beautifully Scrumptious and I thought I would give it a go. It is a tea sheet and peppermint foot mask takes 20 minutes and it's going to make my feet thorough ready so I thought I'd give that one a little shot. I don't tend to give these for Charlie for his dinner anymore but for lunches sometimes these are still quite handy. Yeah, yeah these are still handy. Yeah, still quite handy. These are the Heinz Little Kids Sweet Potato and Lean Beef Hot Pots and they are from the age 1 to 3 years so really Ella could still have this. 
But yeah, this the portion size is quite good for a little lunch to be honest. But Mom, Charlie would normally you for Charlie. Yeah, but I don't think you would normally have this, would you? Mm -hmm. Would you like one of these for dinner? Mm -hmm. No. No. Yeah, six different veggies inside. I do love the Heinz brand, so yeah, that is for Charlie's little lunches or dinners if he's having a later dinner. Good girl, that is the Huggies wipes that we like. These wipes smell so good. These are the Aloe Fresh ones and I just love them. I tend to buy quite a lot of these. I only got one pack of them today for some reason. Yeah. Hmm, just one pack. Why did I do that? I got some sponges which are... Blue and blue, blue, pink. I suppose it's a kind of bluey green, isn't it? So yeah, three sponges in a pack. One part of it is kind of like an exfoliate inside. Oh, thank you. That was nice. One part is a kind of exfoliating side, one part is a kind of softer side. So I was planning and using one on each child. So like a pink one for Ella, bluey, greeny, mint colour for Charlie. So yeah, I think that's a good value for a pound to get three in a pack. Uh, and, and, blue, and another blue for you. Oh, is that another one for me? Right, okay. And this is also for Charlie, it is the Simple Baby All-in-One Wash. Again, because he's sensitive skin, we're just kind of doing trial and error with a lot of things just now. So we are going to use this on him. Mommy, just... Oh. Yeah, and again, because the skin is sensitive, I thought I would just give this a go again. I used to have this when I was younger, and it's just aqueous cream. But this came in like a much more handy bottle. Whenever you get aqueous cream, because you need to use it every day, they just give you the most annoying, inconvenient, massive big tubs of it so I thought that's actually a really nice size although you could get a bigger tub but I thought that's really good with like the dispenser and stuff just makes life a whole lot easier <laughs> what are you doing <clears throat> I picked up these antibacterial wipes these are the a these are the apple and apricot ones I thought I would give them a go the reason why I actually like these was because there were so many in a pack and because apples and because they had a resealable lid on them that's always like a kind of bonus for me if something can be no, easily no, sealed away messy. yeah you can open the lid up so yeah I don't know how many is in the pack I don't think it says does it yes 90 in the pack which is really good and those were a pound so the next things I picked up were for Fraser these are just like two salted caramel flapjack protein bars I thought they'd be quite good so I got one in the chocolate chip and one in the salted caramel so yeah I didn't get too many of these. I wanted to see how we got on with them first and if they're actually good. Essential but worth talking about. I have picked up some of the <laughs> Quantum Quilt four pack of Lural. How glamorous. Lural. Lural. I've got this big fairy which annoyingly was cheaper in Home Bargains. This was 3 99 in Home Bargains and it was a fiver in Poundlands. So really yeah. I should have just went to Home Bargains. But anyway I picked that up while I was there. So that is a pack that does 40 washes. Oh, you're snuggling me. And the last thing that I picked up were these, and it is my favourite, at the moment, my favourite fabric softener. It's the Lenore Gold Orchid Perfumil. And yeah. Perfumil. Perfumil. And I really like it. It's really nice. If you've used it before, you'll know. It smells like perfume. Really good. And they have lots of different fragrances to choose from. So, guys, that is everything we picked up in Poundland today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If Bye. you did, then please make sure you hit subscribe. Tell everyone to hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. And the little bell. And the little bell. And we will see you all very soon. Bye. Bye. Go. Mwah. <laughs> well done, Elle. That was good.